is it improper to ask for something very specific? And after seeing that Allah has taken that thing away from you, should you stop asking Allah for it? Okay, so A, it's not improper to ask for something <coughs> specific. <coughs> Rather, وَقَالَ رَبُّكُمْ أُدْعُونِي أَسْتَجِبْ لَكُمْ Call on me, I will surely answer you. So ask Allah for anything and everything. As long as it's halal, and you're not uh, praying for some wrongdoing to occur to someone else, <clears throat> ask Allah, ask away, right? It's an act of worship. It's the very essence of worship because the person who you turn to uh, in your greatest need is the one you know who you believe can do anything, right? So that's Allah. So ask away. So asking for specific things, <clears throat> fine. What if you don't get it? Keep asking. You will always benefit from it. But <clears throat> we should train ourselves to accepting the response of Allah. Trying to resist and struggle and I keep wanting this, I keep asking why isn't it coming. I went and did you know, a hajj and I asked and it didn't come and I went and gave charity and it didn't come. Don't resist. Ask with the intention, I'm going to ask my master if he deems this good for me and gives it to me, I will do my best to thank him. And if he deems that it's not good for me, he doesn't give it to me, I will say, you know, I will do my best to thank him. I'll say, Alhamdulillah. That's the attitude. So ask for your specific thing. Sometimes um, Allah turns the thing away from you. Like if you prayed uh, the Salat al-Istikhara, you've asked for something and then problems occur whilst you're pursue, you pursuing it. Alamat al tawfiq at as the righteous say, that <clears throat> the sign that there's success, that there's... Um, God given success in something is that it's made easy. So if you're pursuing a spouse and problem one comes up, you fix that. Problem two, problem three, problem four, there's a sign here which means it's not good for you. So with the istikhara, people think I need to see a dream, I need to see green, I need to see. Forget all of that. Forget your feelings. If you've done the istikhara, Allah will make the best happen. So look at a situation, pros and cons, make a decision, pray the istikhara, and then pursue. If it works out, excellent. If it doesn't work out, it's bad for you, Allah's turning it away. <clears throat> Once you see something has been turned away from you, then, you know, treat it as, <clears throat> you know, uh, the wrapper to a chocolate bar you've eaten. You've had the chocolate, and meaning you've asked, and now what are you going to do with the, the wrapper? Right? You can't do much with it, so... Throw it into a bin <laughs> over your shoulder and forget about it. If it's not coming to you, it's not meant to come come to you. And this is one of the best ways of actually even drawing closer to Allah. You know, uh, letting Him choose for you. And it can be hard, but that's where the benefit comes from. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah.